He was the hottest K-pop star of his time. Born in South Korea and raised in the U.S., Steve Yu, or Yu Sung Jun, made his Korean debut as a singer in the late 90s, releasing many hits like Kawi and Na Na Na. But in 2002, Yu renounced his Korean citizenship and became a U.S. citizen just before he was about to begin his military service. This sparked public outrage as Yu had said many times in previous interviews that he was going to serve his country. As a result, the singer was banned from entering South Korea ever again. With one bad decision, Yu's entire career ended along with his freedom to visit the motherland. For the past several years, the singer has been trying to make his return to South Korea, but the process hasn't been easy. For years, Yu pleaded with the government to lift the entry ban so he can visit South Korea with his children. <laughs> But his continued pleas fell on deaf ears. And in 2015, Yu filed a lawsuit against the Korean Consulate General in Los Angeles after it turned down his application for an F-4 visa for overseas Koreans due to his past evasion of military service. The Korean government claimed that granting Yu the visa would damage national interests and public security. But in 2020, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Yu, saying the visa rejection was unconstitutional. Following the top court's ruling, Yu applied again for a visa to enter Korea, but was denied again by the government. So he filed a second lawsuit to reverse the decision. And last week, the Seoul High Court ruled in favor of Yu, saying there is no just cause for the government to deny him a visa unless he committed any other illegal acts than the deceitful way he dodged his military obligations. The court also said Yu's application for the F-4 visa should be deemed valid since he applied for it in 2015 when he was 39 years old, and the rule at the time was that an overseas Korean male could apply for an F-4 visa as long as he is over the age of 38. Yu's lawyer has welcomed the court's decision. Following the court's decision, the foreign ministry said it will consult with other ministries in charge of immigration over possible legal actions. Now this case shows how public sentiment can affect government policy and the way Koreans think about celebrities fulfilling their mandatory military service. Do you think Steve Yu should be allowed back, or should he continue to face the consequences of his bad decision? Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Debbie Wan. Please make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more updates.